Joining us now with his plan to fix it, independent presidential candidate RFK Jr. Thanks for having me, Steve. It's great to have you. When you see something like that, you know, back in the day, it used to be hard to get in the country. And if they did get in the country, there'd be a Border Patrol person there saying, hey, stop. Uh, or you got to turn around. Now, can you explain what Joe Biden's doing? I can't explain the rationale. And I've been down to the border. I, I spent uh, three days in Yuma watching this. And I was astonished. I, you know, between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. in the morning, I watched 300 people just walk across the border. There were buses that were bringing them up to the border that were owned by the Mexican drug cartel, mm -hmm. uh, 100 or 55 people in a bus. And I watched the first 110 people that came over were from West Africa. And I wasn't able to interview them. But then the second two buses that came in, I was able to interview all the people. and. Only two of them had asylum claims. Most of them were from Asia. Right. And um, it's really, it's astonishing that, the, you know, the Border Patrol is utterly demoralized. You could stop this very quickly. And there doesn't seem to be any interest yeah. in the Biden administration doing it. Last month, Steve, the, we hit a record of 247,000 um, migrants arrested, which means many more were coming across. Right. So, uh, and you know, it's not sustainable. Our country, we've already absorbed 7 million right. people in the last three years. And it, the, the, uh, the pilot, whatever they're thinking is, is wrong. It's insane. If you were elected president, how would you fix it? I would stop it overnight. There, you know, I've talked to the patrol. I've talked to law enforcement. Um, what we we need to do is to, to complete the 27 gaps in the in the wall. You don't need a wall from Brownsville, Texas, 2,200 miles to San Diego, but you need the physical barrier in those highly populated zones where uh, migrants can disappear very quickly. So there's 27 big gaps where everybody's coming through. In the rural areas, you need to restore the fences that were torn up right. by, the, by the administration. You need to put in the long-range cameras, the lights, the sensor equipment, and then you need, we need asylum judges on the border to adjudicate the cases there. And we need to reinstate the Migrant Protection Act that requires people with asylum claims to remain in Mexico. All those right. claims are adjudicated. And that would stop the flow immediately. Yeah.